Hey guys, Tyler Hansman here with Tyler Hans Performance. Um, so today, what we're gonna talk about is a fluidity, rhythm, and relaxation um, cheat code. So what we're gonna talk about are self-toss drill variations. All right, so early in the process of kind of learning a new drill, uh, it makes a lot of sense to kind of take it slow through there, get a feel for the movement, take your time so we can make sure we're getting the most out of a given drill. Uh, but one of the problems that can happen over a period of time is over drilling or over use of the same drill time and time again. And then we don't get a wide range of adaptability. We can run into issues with fluidity and rhythm. All right. So one of the ways we've kind of found to kind of work on this and kind of help with this issue if somebody's having an issue with the rhythm and fluidity of the, of the movement is a self-toss variation. Okay. So a couple of the benefits of self-toss variations are that um, <clears throat> they allow the thrower to be more athletic and reactive. They force a bit more rhythm into the system. They increase the tempo. All right. And they don't allow for as much overthinking. So self-toss variations aren't something that necessarily need to be used exclusively. Uh, these are not meant to be you know, the only option in a throwing program, but if fluidity and rhythm are kind of like the, the big rocks that you're going after, these can be really helpful once whatever drill you kind of add these to have been mastered by the athlete. Give them a try. Feel free to drop any questions you have below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you've got questions uh, regarding remote or in-person training, shoot us an email. Thanks.